Hi, this is Julie Bling. Today's project is all about sophisticated sled. And this is the third project right here. Look at the skates. Oops, well, I don't want them to do that. Okay, you can shake them vigorously, but they do kind of move. Or you could put them on a dimensional so they don't move. Isn't that just adorable? So, like I said, this is the third one. This is the second one. There's no sled on it, but it sure is cute. And there's a video tutorial on this, including a list of all the products used. And then the first one is right here. So this one has two pairs of skates. This is for the couple that went skating. Snowflakes, the dotted circle embossing folder, a bit of coloring. Today's project doesn't require any coloring. So you ready to get started? I love this bundle. Sophisticated sled stamp set and dies. Okay. So we'll be using the Baker's Twine Essential Pack for the white linen, the white um, Baker's Twine. These are the pieces. And glimmer paper. There's glimmer paper in the, I think it's in here, or maybe it's online. But this is available and it comes in, I think it's like festive um, designer or gl glimmer paper. I keep saying, want, I want to say glitter, but it's glimmer. And Festive Glimmer, page 53 in the catalog. And it comes in three colors. Um, Granny Apple, I think it's Garden, right here. Garden Green, Cherry Cobbler, and Granny Apple, right there. It's kind of a sleeper. So we'll use that for the greenery on the sled. Isn't that pretty? And <clears throat> what else? The embossing folder. So swirly, and I have it already done, but look how big it is. I got two sheets of paper in here. Imagine doing this for a Christmas card. You could really get through them. But I love this embossing folder. I think it's perfect for this project because to me it looks like the, it's windy outside and the snowflakes are blowing around. Oh, speaking of snowflakes, did you notice how cute these are? These are... White Loose Snowflakes, item number 164128. And we'll use those. Here's all the dies. And to make the sled, I'll put it on the navy blue paper here. There's this, which we'll do in gold. There is this, which is for the wood panels. And look how it puts the pattern of the wood um, on your paper. And then we'll do this for the two different greens, and that is for layering these together. And I cut this one just a little bit, I'll show you. And those are used for the last project. This is for the skates. At first I'm like, what is that? Is that a turtle? Turn it over? I still don't know, what is that? <laughs> so I had to cut it out and then, oh, then I knew. That is for the skate laces. But I have that already cut out and it's cut out in gold, and um, you'll see it go together here in just a minute. And then the skate blades. So this is maybe like, this is the Country Club ice skating rink because they have gold blades and gold laces. All the places I went, it was white laces and silver tarnished, not really tarnished, but well-loved blades. <laughs> then of course, the skates, which you could do in any color. And it looks like it has the blade on here, but the metallic blade or whatever blade you choose goes right over the top, including a little bit for the heel and for the shoe bottom, the shoe plate. The cardinal was used in the previous one, so we won't use that. Okay, so let's pull out all these pieces. So this right here is probably more valuable than gold. Not that it was that hard, but all the pieces we need for this project. We'll do these in a minute. 
I already cut the baker's twine. I cut a little bow and just a little piece about two or three inches long to hang the skates from. And when we put it together, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get started on making this. Put this one here and fold the base paper in half. And the paper cut sizes are in the description of the video at the very bottom. Okay, this isn't working. I wanted to cover up that from the last project. I usually just replace the papers, but it's like this one's still kind of clean. Okay, then attach. I'm not gonna use liquid glue just because it's real strong. I don't want it lifting. It's like, what side is better? They both came out good. I'll do, this side is up. Oh, but that side looks good too. There's that. Just a little interest. I hope you could see that. I like it. Let's build the sled. So, on this sample, I have the lighter green, the granny apple, on top. So I'll probably end up doing that that way, but let me check. Yeah, I think when it's on... Um, the lighter color is on top, it makes this look like a shadow. So I'm going to cut it just a little bit because if I put them on top of each other, they perfectly match. And I want it to look like it's um, greenery, lots of greenery. Okay, so I cut those two. I'm going to put glue on here. Of course, I have to pop out that one little last one. And chances are it would have been covered by the bow, but you know. And I'm gonna be a little bit heavy with the glue, just because this glue, it has to um, attach the glimmer paper, and the glimmer paper with all of that glitter on it, it's, um, it's not rough, but because it's a little bit coarse, it takes a little extra glue to stick stuff down. If I did regular glue, it would just be setting on top and they'd probably separate. Okay, so probably should just do this on the sled. I don't know if I could build it quick enough by the time the glue dries. I should have just built it after I had this, or attached these pieces after I had the sled assembled. But that's okay, I'm, I'm making it happen. I just wanna be able to see both of the colors. The side's really dropping down. Maybe I can hike it up a little. Okay, there, you can see both of the colors. Okay, so I want that to dry, because it's full of glue. I was heavy on the glue. The sled, okay, the skates, we'll do the skates. I'm gonna put glue on the heel, on the blade, on the sole. And attach this one. There it is. Okay, dry. My phone just did an update and it just went bling saying, I'm done. It keeps on saying, just one more minute left. That was like 10 minutes ago. I think it was like one more minute for this section. It doesn't tell you that, but it's okay. Updates are good. Okay. Um, dry. Hope I didn't punch out these. Changed garbage cans. It was Halloween. 
went right to Christmas. That works a little better. Get those little pieces out. You know, it seems that the bundles that include lots of pieces, when I see them, it's like, oh my gosh, I love that. Then when I look at all the dies, it's like, oh yeah, that's gonna be some work. Then when I'm making it, it's like, I know better. Lots of pieces means like lots of work. Definitely won't do lots of pieces for class because they get lost. Then everyone is waiting for the shoelaces and it just, it's not good. I do little pieces, dies for Avid Stampers because then everyone has their own and you could go at your own pace because you get the kit at home. Um, but when I started cutting out all these pieces, it's like, it's really cute though. The sled, the skates. Probably should have done this before. But we're almost done. It's going to be worth it. So moral of the story, would it stop me from getting dies or a bundle that has lots of little pieces? Probably not. Cause it's so cute. Okay, so this is, and look how it punches out two pieces. And these have, in the wood grain, little dots implying that might be where like a bolt goes to attach the, um, the sled. Oh, that one didn't cut very well. That one's good. Good. Let's get back to that other one. It's probably time for me to change my plates. So if ever you have this, if the top is preserved and it looks good, don't worry if it peels on the underneath because no one sees it. Trying to line up the die again, I probably could do it. But there's been a few times where I said, I probably can do it, and then I don't, and I'm so disappointed. Okay, so here's for the bolts. Then this is the one that was challenging. Oh, and now it's behaving. Okay, I think it's done. It's done. And then a couple little holes in here. I kind of want to put a, um, should I try that? No, I think it'll be distracting. I was going to say, I want to put like the white baker's twine, a knot, pull out a bunch, weave, weave it through here and pull it up and put a knot on the end. So it's like a pull, a string to pull the sled. But I think that would be distracting because it would compete with the snowflakes. So good idea, but I'm not gonna do it. Maybe I could do it on one of the other ones. Maybe I'll do it on another card. Okay, but isn't that fun how one die cuts out the two pieces? Okay, so let's build this. So, rounded tarp. The rounded part is at the top, the flat part is at the bottom. And I figured that out because that's how this is, a little bit rounded and a little bit more flat. I think if you did it the other way, it would be just fine too. So I will put glue. Should I put it on the gold or on the blue? I think on the gold. So glue will go here. Uh, maybe just in the middle here. I'm looking at where the balmy blue touches the gold on here. Everything here. And the greenery is gonna go on that top part, but not quite yet. So I'm gonna take these holes and line them up with the gold at the bottom. 
like they're bolted to the gold. And then the top ones match up just fine. Okay, stick. I kind of feel like it wants some weight. It's curling a little bit. Let's see, what do I have here? There, dry. Ooh, the skates, let's do the skates. They are, oh, they're still drying. But I think they're okay. So looking at the skates, let me hold up these parts. So see this solid part right here? That's going to tuck into this little slit. Aren't they creative for making that? And um, in one of the prior videos, I was putting these together and I used liquid glue, which I'll do today. But someone said, well, just put a dimensional right back there and it will hold it, which is true. But I don't want dimensionals on all of them. So I'm going to stick to my loading it up with a bit of glue plan. Maybe thin on top, then a little bit thick on the bottom because that makes it a bit 3D. Okay, so that's gonna take a minute to dry. I probably should have done that first. Dry. We could do the inside. We have to do the words too. Okay. This part goes right into the slit. Looks good right there. It's just so cute. I'm looking at how much of the gold, you know how I slid it into the slit, how much is still showing. I want them to be equal. Yeah, they're good. Or close enough. Okay, so this is going to be held on to the back of the skate so that they're hanging from the greenery. And I'm just going to put a knot in it because that helps make it both of the um, little legs go downward. Okay, it's waiting for the skates to dry. This, let's see how this is done. Oops. Ah, it's getting there. here is where the balmy blue sled top attaches just like that make sure it's equal stuck down I'm looking at this middle piece making sure it's in the middle of the bar and where the little holes are implying that it's a bolt going through I want those with gold underneath them. Okay, so everything has a little bit of drying. So let's work on the inside. Nothing. Oh, we could do, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the words. These, we've already done that. This goes onto the greenery. This is inside. So let's do the words and then we'll do the, um, the inside. So when stamping on white scratch paper, white, can't see very good. And I think I could see it straight enough to stamp it, but when I put it on here, that's a lovely thing. Yay, all the way. So I'm going to try to stamp as close as I can to the bottom <laughs> and try to stamp straight 
And then I'm going to use my um, trimmer just to trim it up a bit. Yay, all the way. Let me test it. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Since I have the navy ink open, I will stand. Hope your days are filled with fun and laughter, which is what sledding would do. Okay, so in the comments of the previous sled, if if you're the one who said this, you're going to know I'm, I'm going to talk about you. <laughs> she said, oh my gosh, I can imagine, because I was telling sled stories, I can imagine at the bottom, laughing so hard that we fall over and we're like, we're gonna need the firemen <laughs> to come in. So just so that we can stand up. <laughs> and then um, I was talking about wearing, like well, we're gonna have to be all bundled up. So therefore we cannot stand up. And she was like, wait a minute, do you know where I'm from? I don't have any warm coats. <laughs> it just was a funny thought. Gosh, if I fell over, yeah, I think, I think I could get up. It's not pretty, but um, yeah, say, say the printer isn't working or something and I have to crawl underneath the desk and check the printer or put like the settings in, like the Wi-Fi settings, put them in again. It's, it's not good. I do it. Tony's better than I am and he has a new hip. Did I stamp off on there or did I leave him full strength? I stamped off. See how it's lighter? Well, okay. There, now I could add double the snowflakes. This one is gonna be better, because it has double. So, yesterday I stopped by Ruby's house, and um, she had some leftover stuff from Halloween. She she's given out full-size candy bars she's like hey you want some and in my head i'm like no but realistically <laughs> yeah so i took two of them and do you have a stash i'm not going to pull these out okay maybe i will and they're just there it's kind of like a security blanket like if i get hungry like i'm i'm food what do they call it when you um when you don't have enough food. Um. Look at that. These are from Ruby. And they're just waiting. For what? I don't know. But she filled my stash. My stash is, it's there now. Food insecurities. Which is not good. And you know, speaking of food insecurities, I'm so happy that the schools feed the kids. I'll never forget when we moved here to Lowell um, and they're like, okay, well, breakfast is served here and lunch, they sit over here. And I'm like, wait a minute, you serve them breakfast? Yeah, they come early. All the kids, they get a breakfast and they get a lunch and it's balanced food. I'm like, oh, and it's very nice. I don't think my kids ever really sat down and ate that because they would rather be eating like an at-home, not all that healthy breakfast. I don't know what got me talking about that, but. Okay, so I'm going to trim this so that it's about the size. Good. That'll do just fine. It's a little bit crooked, a little bit wider here than there, 
but maybe I'll just put lots of snowflakes on it. Okay, so this is good. That's nice and dry. So next, this goes on top. And I'm looking at where I'm going to put glue. I'm going to put glue definitely on all of this balmy blue piece and probably not anywhere else. See, if I were to try to put glue on the back side of the greenery, that would be a mess. There'd be glue everywhere. Okay, so I'll put it right here. Isn't that just the sweetest? Oh, and it's sparkly. Okay, so that's good. That has to dry. Let's check on the skates. The skates? They're still wet back there. I could put the sled on because the skates are just put on top. How about that? So the sled I'm going to put on with dimensionals. And at first when I um, did the sample, I put them on. Okay, this just is amusing, <laughs> the way that these kind of move around. I don't like it when they, when they flipped over, but I, I love kind of the interaction with that. Oh, oh. Um, okay, so when, hold on. When I put dimensionals on, I was trying to use the large dimensionals, and um, they, they, they fit, but it was a challenge. It's like, I should just use small ones. Lots of small ones. Because they fit on these panels, but it, it's a perfect fit. And if you have white sticking out behind it, that's not so good. So I just overcompensate by putting too many dimensionals, many ones. Because what is it? Two for every one. I'm just thinking when you get the count of your dimensionals. It says on the pack how many you get in each pack. I think you get double when you get mini. Okay, so that's gonna go right here. Just like that. And I could put the bow on. Wonder if it would stick if I did glue. I'll do a glue dot. And I'll tell you one thing that I don't like about this is, see where the bow is? I wish this knot was hiding a little bit more. Maybe I could put a snowflake there. How would that look? So I was going to try to do something a little bit different, but if a snowflake goes there just fine, solve that problem. Maybe a little one. It is kind of cute. So in here I found two different sizes. That is kind of like a bow on a bow. I like that. Okay. Well, that's convenient. Is that that one? Yeah. Okay. Oh. There's your new home. Oh, that is really sweet. Okay. Therefore, just put a big old whole glue dot right there. And then the bow in the top of it. And don't worry about the knot showing. Okay. Then glue. I probably should have pushed that down further. Like really get it into the glue dot. Yeah. Okay. Now this is for the snowflake. Oh my gosh. Does anyone have any idea all these steps we go through just for a card? I hope they do. Is that discolored? No. And 
And I'll trim up these ends to the bow in just a little bit, and then I'll attach the skates. But in the meantime, yay, all the way, we'll go here with liquid glue. So I don't want to cover up too much of the detail of the sled because it's just so adorable. Okay, so I'll put liquid glue underneath from the T on, and then mini dimensionals underneath the yay. So the trick is to have the words parallel with the bottom of the paper. Right there. It's going to go there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't cut it perfect, but I'll just decorate it with this other cuteness. And hopefully it'll be overlooked. So I'm going to put on quite a few. On the sample, I put on 11. So let's do 11. Well, with that one, it's 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I need to refresh my picker upper. What's going on? If ever it doesn't stick, that means that might have got glue on it. Okay, so that goes away. Give it just a little bit of a squeeze because in a few minutes it's going to be plenty of it out. Oh, that's better. So much better. Now it wants to continue sticking to the picker upper rather than sticking to the glue. I need to find some little ones in here. Here's one. Oh, they're so cute. Oop, that was a double. Okay, so I'm going to hold these up after I get all these on because I want you to see how cute these little snowflakes are. They have a detail in them. Did I get all my glue dots? I think so. Okay, can you see how cute they are? See all the detail in them? Okay, so we had to put the skates on. Then I think we're done. Skates are looking good. So I'm gonna use, let's see, one, two mini dimensionals to attach the skates to each other. So one of them will go right here and the other one will go here on the heel. Then this one, and I'm looking at the back side of the um, skate. Because on my skates I had these little, a little loop, a little leather loop just for the reason of holding. So I'm thinking of the loops being together. Okay. And this still, if I pushed really hard on the glue, yes, it's wet, but I think for right now, it's gonna work perfectly. Okay, and then those are going to attach right here, maybe up a little bit higher. And to have them attach, they can fall into this little puddle of glue. I'm going to have to leave it flipped over for a while so that they'll flow in the wind like the other ones did. Okay, so to do this, probably should have come up with a better plan. Because I struggled when I was doing the first one too. So I think it's just going to get smushed into the glue 
and then I'll adjust it in just a minute. Oh, I put my thumb all in that glue. Okay, you just think about melding a little string. Okay, so those are kind of pushed into the glue. Now let's see how they, how it hangs. It's pretty good. I could pull it a little bit to adjust it. Okay. So I want it to dry before I just set it down. I think it's going to be fine. just like that. Okay, that's it. We did today's project. What do you think? Do you like it? I do. Okay, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.